Hello again, everybody. Thank you for uh, joining me on this uh, video, uh, Cardano Shelly Testnet install guide for Windows 10. This is the new updated version. Uh, so if you have any issues with the old version, this one should correct any of the issues. If you have any issues with this one, please let me know so I can make a adjustment. All right, so what we'll do first is we'll go to a web browser. I'm using Chrome. Uh, gonna type in download git for Windows and do the git-scm.com. Click on Windows, it'll start downloading. And go ahead and click Run. We can click Yes and then exit out of this window. Click Next for quite a few uh, clicks until uh, it finishes. Just go Next, Next, Next. Now we can hit Install. All right, once this is complete, you can go ahead and uh, uncheck the view release notes and click finished. Then we want to right click on the start menu and go to run, type CMD. Um, CMD is command prompt. So what we want to do is we want to change directories. So we'll do CD and then we'll do the percent sign user profile percent sign slash documents. And that'll bring it to your documents folder. Then we want to make directory and we want to do git projects for the folder name. Then we want to cd into git projects so we're actually in that folder. Now we want to run this command that I'm typing right here git clone dash dash recursive or recurse dash sub module then https colon slash slash github dot com slash input dash output dash hk slash your mongander and hit enter All right, now what you want to do is you want to CD into your Mongander. And then once you're in your Mongander, you want to type git pull. This should update or tell you it's already up to date. Now you want it to type git submodule update dash dash int dash dash recursive. It'll return nothing back. you can exit you want to open your web browser and you want to do a search for Visual Studio build tools usually it's going to be the top link on Google you want to scroll down to all downloads And then you want to click on Tools for Visual Studio 2019. It's actually the second one. And then scroll down a little and click on Build Tools for Visual Studio 2019 Download. Once this downloads, you can go ahead and click on the install and run. Go ahead, click Yes, and then click Continue. This will take uh, about a minute.
Right, once you're in, uh, at the top you should see C++ Build Tools. You want to check that and you want to click Install. You want to make sure that you have 4.59 gigs available space. This will take a while to install, so I'm going to pause it here. So once you get caught up to finishing the install, you can go ahead and unpause it. All right, what we want to do is restart the system. And now we want to open up a web browser. All right, so what we want to do is go to https rust langorg learn get started. And then we want to scroll down and click on the rustup.int.exe. Once that's done installing, we want to click on it and run. And then we want to type Y for yes. Then we want to hit 1 for keeping the default process. Alright, this will take a moment, so you can go ahead and pause. Alright, you want to press enter, and that will close out of that window. And then you can close out of the last window. Go to command prompt again, in a new window. And we want to type in rust up update. Should be up to date, if not it will update itself. Now we can close the window and we can go into our documents folder. We want to create a new folder called your mongonder dash node. Then we want to go into the main folder and go into scripts and copy the bootstrap file. Next we want to go into your web browser so we can download a file. And you want to type https github.com slash input dash output dash hk slash your mongonder slash releases and then you want to go down to the GNU dot zip and the msvc dot zip. You can download both of them. I've had better luck with the msvc file, so I, I will try that first. Now if you have an error later on, you would go back and you would replace with the GNU files.
Now that we have these downloaded, we can exit the browser. And we want to go to the download folder and extract the msvc1 first. Once that opens up, you want to copy the two files in there. Go back to the documents folder, go through git, and then the Yumon Gonder node folder and paste those two files in there with the bootstrap. Once we have those things in there, we can go ahead and open a PowerShell to run a couple of commands to get this started. So you can go right click on start button, click search, type PowerShell. You want to run this in administrator. So go ahead and click administrator and click yes. Then you want to type set dash execution policy, then dash scope, and then current user, and then unrestricted. Go ahead and hit enter, and you want to type A. Now you want to type CD, C colon slash users slash, then we want to enter the username that you're running under, then slash documents, slash git projects slash yermongonder dash node and then we want to run the dot slash bootstrap dot ps1 now if you get this error the response content cannot be parsed because of internet explorer it's because we haven't run internet explorer yet since this is a brand new install of windows so this is how you take care of that issue really quick you open it up once and you can hit later and close it. Now we're going to have to close out of PowerShell and reopen PowerShell. Luckily, we can just press up on the arrow key and bring it back to the CD to get back to the folder and then hit enter and then press up again to get the dot slash boot ps1 and then it will come to do you want to start it now you hit yes or Y for yes and you have your node started now at this point if you had an OS error pop-up this is where you would go back and do the GNU switch so you would delete everything that's in the your mongonder dash node folder and then replace everything, restart the process, but using the GNU full files. At this point, if you are serious about running a Cardano node for staking, I would recommend personally for efficiency, security, and cost reasons to run your node on Linux. I would recommend you watch my other video, Cardano Mainnet Staking Build. It will go through the reasons and uh, choices I am making for my own build to give you an insight why I think Linux is a better OS for running the mainnet. And then if you do decide that you want to run the mainnet using Linux, I also have a staking Cardano Shelly testnet setup guide on Linux video that you can follow that's about 13-14 minutes to follow and is fairly easy even with minimal Linux knowledge. After that I will be uploading uh, more videos um, showing me building my actual uh, testnet node and uh, going through all the different scenarios uh, within that build. Uh, for other people to follow. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed and see you again.